All right, here we go. Here we go. Hey, 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 hey. Stir the pot. Stir the pot a little bit, right? But look, check this out, man. My homie Jamming May, really, he like a brother to me. Especially somebody, you know what I'm saying? I, I've seen grow. I've seen grind. I've seen really, really strive to become better. He's at 7.6K subscribers. He dropped this video. If y'all ain't been around during uh, the past few days, what's been going on with the UFC community, I done popped my shit a little bit on Twitter. I done made a video and talked about, you know, a certain somebody, the way they play the game. And then I, um, you know, I had to come out and I made another video defending my community, right? But anyways, Jamin May dropped the video and it says the toxic community of UFC 5. Now, I don't know what exactly is going to be saying in this video. I knew this video was being made. I ain't going to see him fake the front. I knew this video was in the works, but I don't know what exactly he's going to say or what exactly is in the video. So understand my reaction, unlike others, is actually live. By the way, sometime in this video, I am going to get up and walk off because my cookies is in the oven and I'm getting my cookies. You heard me? Time! By the way, subscribe to JMMA. I ain't going to keep pausing the video, bro, but subscribe to JMMA. Link in the description. He's probably going to comment on the video, too. Time! He's irrelevant. That's the problem. The kid's losing subscribers by the day and this is his career. Good luck. If you're going to call somebody a bum, stand on that shit. Stand on it, bro. <laughs> Don't say no offense. Before we dive in, let's take a moment to rewind and set the stage. The Ultimate Fighting Championship, commonly known as the UFC, has dramatically transformed the landscape of combat sports gaming through its partnership with EA Sports. Each release draws millions of fans eager to experience the convergence of gaming and the real life octagon. However, lurking beneath the surface of this thrilling spectacle hey, J hey my boy sounds super intelligent don't he oh it's sophisticated and shit is a less savory reality a toxic undercurrent within the ufc5 community i'm jmma and in this video we're going to explore the depths of toxic culture overshadowing the ufc5 community we'll examine its origins the key players and the tangible impact it has had on both the virtual world and its real hold life on, players hold on, hold on, hold on. i gotta make sure i put my time on y'all hold on All right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, bro. Chill, 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 chill. Chill, and I brought a cookie with me. Probably you eating cookies, you trying to work out? <sighs> you damn right. Within the community has reached a fever pitch recently, but the real issue at heart seems to be the culture itself. My observations suggest that the online play of UFC 5 is a significant source of the negativity, ranging from casual trash talk to serious threats. It's clear that such behavior is inexcusable, yet it's important to recognize that these individuals don't solely contribute to the toxicity. The UFC 5 scene is also plagued by cheating, exploitation, and unethical gameplay. Some top players, a term I use lightly, resort to exploiting glitches and employing questionable tactics to unfairly dominate their opponents. This win at all costs mentality, coupled with an inability to gracefully accept defeat, spirals into the toxic environment we witness today. It's disheartening to see the community's decline with each new installment seemingly exacerbating the issue. UFC 1 maintained a semblance of calm, being the first game in a series. A However, fact. the release of UFC 2 marked the beginning of a downward spiral, in my opinion. Further fueled by the popularity surge following Conor McGregor's victories over Jose Aldo and Chad Mendes, and the introduction of Game Chat, set the stage Robot for what will become nasty. a persistent issue through UFC 3, 4, and now UFC 5. Do you see the trend? As these games get less and less progressive, so does the community. This now leads us to the people directly affected or who some may consider the main source of the toxicity, the player base. Numerous incidents from cheating scandals to a lack of accountability highlight the challenges within the UFC 5 community. The absence of effective oversight and consequences emboldens offenders perpetuating the cycle of toxic behavior. I know Boy, that script crazy. <laughs> and that script crazy. Why are you talking like that, man? Notable incidents <laughs> occurred on February 26, 2024, when the content creator Pryoxis criticized hey, that's me. players' game that's me. on Twitter. Hey, that's me! That's me! Heated exchange. Pryoxis posted this tweet that reads, Dog, that I am Treehouse dude is a pure bum. It's sad how he is so successful playing that way. He follows up with another tweet that says, Looks like him is why nobody wants to play UFC 5 ranked. 
Hashtag spammer K. Shout out go. Treehouse responds to say a tweet with sweet. Can't wait, man. Gonna be a great video of you playing a game you can't stand and complaining the entire time like the last 20 you've made. Now, which is... I ain't gonna lie. I'm really sick of them saying that, bro. Hey, so many people, if you don't like it, don't play it. If you don't like it, don't play it. Look, what little dinosaur arms. If you don't like it, don't play it. I want y'all look like a little T-Rex. If you don't like it, don't play it. Shut up. Seems as a simple back and forth including trash talk was soon turned into something much larger. That same day, Pryoxys posted a video of the encounter and many members of the community would think Treehouse style of play is cheesy. No. Get, I knew he was gonna slip, bro. Get him out of there, Pryoxys. Nah, 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 sad, bro. It's really sad. And I'ma go to the leaderboards and I'ma show y'all where this dude is ranked at. Now, if you ask me, I agree. Some of the things Treehouse was doing fall under the definition of what a cheeser or spammer is. Consistent clinch attacks, double-edged bells, and more align with what most consider lesser play. Not to say that Treehouse is a bad player, but the way he plays specifically against Pride was not fun to watch. This incident not only showcased the typical banter, but also underscored the broader issue of the gameplay style and the community's reaction to it. The controversy illuminated the tactics some top players used to secure victories, which didn't sit well with many. EA UFC 5 game changer Romero posts a screenshot of someone vigorously out in Treehouse. Now I can't show that screenshot because it's completely out of line, but the user made threats. Nah, the screenshot, the screenshot out of pocket. The screenshot is out of pocket for sure. Was Treehouse and his family. Continuing on, Romero says in a tweet, the most toxic fan base of the community never ceases to amaze me with this stupidity. Sleeping would do you people better. Romero is directly implying that this user is from Pryoxys' community without any real proof. The message was inexcusable, but without any mention of the creator or knowledge that he's an avid watcher of Pryoxys, lumping him with that creator's community seems like some of a bias towards Pryoxys. This is something Pry calls out in his response video as he defends himself from Romero's claims. Go and watch this video, you can type in that title, but look at this. So. After this fight, win or lose, man, you guys need to go to his channel and you need to, you need to. After this fight, in the win or lose, you guys need to go to his channel. Comment section, let him know that go you guys know section. of his disability and you feel for him, truly. You know? Let him know that you guys know of his extremely low IQ and that you guys are impressed with what he's been able to accomplish regardless of it. Now, whether Marshall was sarcastic or not, he could have kept all that in this video. But no, he made sure to have his subscribers. This was a year ago. This back and forth has caused another rift as another creator by the name of Crooks the Great has made three back to back to back videos speaking on the city. I ain't gonna lie, sick work, bro. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, Bean. I'm kidding, Bean, bro. Sick work, bro. I am glad that you got some views off of basically my name, though. Situation. The ongoing dispute further fueled by content from other creators showcases the normalization of toxicity within the UFC 5 community. This sets a concerning precedent for young players who may adopt these behaviors. In my view, there's missteps on all sides. Romero's implication that the threats originated from Pryoxys community was a leap, underscoring the importance of creators taking responsibility for their influence while also recognizing the limits of their control over individual actions. The notion of attributing the actions of a few to a wider community without silent evidence hints at a deeper bias. Romero is an EA game changer for the UFC series, and as a game changer, following up on the reply saying the play style wasn't cheesy because it was defendable, further. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that, bro. Give me one second. One sec. the sediment. I just think Romero suffers from what I call Homelander Syndrome. <laughs> it's when you gain an unfathomable amount of egotistical traits simply because you do something the average person does not do. And also, alluding to the fact that you put food on another creator's table because you simply do not mention him. Brother, he's mentioned me in plenty of his vids. I rarely, if ever, mention him. If anything, I am stick to 
porn putting food on your table through though with no check Mero if you go to my YouTube channel and type in Romero 17 you're not gonna find plant Prioxis Romero 17 my ESFL fight versus Romero okay Romero breaking down the fight versus me. Where's the plenty? Where 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 exactly is the plenty? suffers from what I call then put food previous sediment creators table because you simply do not mention him further proves my previous sediment regarding personal bias also something I forgot to put in the video uh when he was talking with fight night finest shout out to fight night finest um they were talking about Romero and him were talking about problems with the game and as an EA UFC game changer talking to an undisputed content creator who has actual access to these uh to developers, community managers, etc. He goes on and says this that uh Fight Night's finest should send him his problems because he has friends in high places. Now uh, Prioxa could have done a way better job clarifying to his community that they shouldn't attack Treehouse. But to give him the benefit of the doubt, he did say in his video, I'm not attacking him personally, I'm attacking his playstyle. That is far from telling his community to openly attack Treehouse. Kratos can only do so much to control other people's actions because it's just that other people's actions to foster a healthier community we must confront the toxic culture head on promoting a space that is inclusive respectful and welcoming accountability stricter enforcement and initiative to promote diversity and inclusion we can start to dismantle the toxic dynamics that currently dominate Message. but let me know down below in the comment section what you think it has been jmma do something productive with your day bd your meat is not productive okay thank you guys for watching the video again let me know down below in the comments how do you see the situation who's right or wrong let's talk about it it's been jay love you guys and i'm out peace now i'm gonna be honest with y'all bro like i'm gonna say this bro Ho hopefully this doesn't cause my mans to do a whole 20 30 minute reaction but crooks was saying telling people in his comment section oh probably already address the community thing or whatever i addressed treehouse because he dm'd me and i'm not gonna say what the dm said but just know everything was settled as far as the situation with him speaking about my kids i i somebody told me he said something about my kids so i basically tweeted and like tried to figure out what, what did he what was said or what was going on about the whole situation i talked to him we talked to you know what I'm saying about that and we squashed that that's outside of the gaming because once you start bringing people families up and stuff like that that's where it, it it's it's like okay bro like what's really going on you know what I mean you can call me whatever you want but like talk about my family or, or stuff like that that's where the lines are drawn you know what I mean so as simple as that bro and like I said while treehouse is going to play the way he's playing I'm going to call him the way he played a bum I can respect him enough to not speak on his family to not speak on him personally and he feels the same way. It's as simple as that, all right? But that, with that being said, I'm out. Like I said, subscribe to JMMA W video. Uh, and I ain't gonna lie, he leveled up. Boy, that man, Jay done leveled up with that content. No motherfucking cow! But hey, I'm out.